you go. That's a mallet, mallet fell out of my bass drum pedal. <laughs> On the top? Yep, let it rip. Mark it. Hi, my name is Megs McLean and I'm chilling out at London Bridge Studios today here in Seattle and we're working on my first single. I hope you guys like it. Music has just kind of always been there for me. I've really wanted this. Ask me when I was four years old and I would have said, yeah, I want to be a singer. I want to be famous. I want people to hear what I have to say. There's a video of me when I was younger and my dad is moving the camera around and I go, Daddy, put the camera back on me. And I just think that's hilarious. That kind of pretty much describes everything. <laughs> I live at about an hour outside of Seattle. I've been riding horses since I was really little, as long as I can remember. I love the respect that horses show people. It's one of my favorite things, like when you ride a new horse and you get off of the horse and then they follow you around because they respect you. I love horses. Don't slobber on the lens. Whoa. <laughs> oh, such a good point. Such a good point. Oh, no. <laughs> Country is my main influence. It's my truck. Most of my friends listen to country music. Brantley Gilbert is one of my favorites. Carrie Underwood's really inspirational. Oh, this truck? <laughs> this ain't my daddy's truck. It ain't my boyfriend's truck. It's not your truck. <laughs> I think that since no known country artist has ever come from Seattle, I think it's time and I think people are ready for it. They never gonna get to ride. I love it. I think what Seattle brings to country is a little bit of the grunge factor. You know, if you think about I'm going to be in a country band, you go to Nashville, you go to these amazing studios, you get these amazing players that just kill her, they just lay it down, and you're like, that sounds awesome. Up here, we're kind of a little less refined. We like things a little bit looser, a little bit sloppier, which is kind of down homey, it's kind of swampy, it's kind of, it, it fits into that Americana thing really well, I think. And then what Megs brings is, is that feel of the country. Jeff Ott runs London Bridge Studios. He's amazing to be working with, very talented, has an ear for everything. He's helping me kind of realize my vision and putting it into what I want it to be. He says, well, we can make that a reality by doing it this way. I've been able to bring in a lot of my favorite players. And not only that, but Megs is really open to working hard on this song. Cool. Yeah, we got it. You're a little bit late. Uh. <laughs> I can do whatever I want, but before we move on, I play it back for her and make sure she's still doing her little dance. And she's like, I want to sing on this. Because if she doesn't feel like she wants to sing on it, then it's no good. Is that your thing? Yeah. All right. I have to get a tight note. Ben Smith is course. a very talented drummer. He was part of uh, Heart, and he's done movie soundtracks. He's a fun guy to hang out with. You just kind of mess around, joke around. We teased each other the whole time. Do you read music? That means no, not okay, exactly. Okay, good. Me either. That's why I write like this. So this is a good match. There you go. Okay, good. It was an amazing experience to be able to say, hey, you know, my studio drummer was Ben Smith. <laughs> Sweet. That took me on a ride. Very good. Yeah, I like it. Let's do another one and then see how close we are. People describe as new country often has such big drumming elements and such big rock elements to it that it's part of my nature now. The band I play in Heart has a, there's an element of their sound that's super aggressive. So that's part of my style is being able to hit things aggressively, find the right spots and the dynamics in songs. I'm not really surprised by the aggressiveness of the tune. It's always fun to come out and play, come out and play and really bring it. The roominess 
of this space that really works well for drums. So it feels great to play in this room. They do a great job recording it here and I love to come out here. Brad Smith of Blind Melon signed on to be my bassist. He's one of the most respected musicians in the industry. I was able to work with the amazing Amber Sweeney, whose in-studio experience definitely helped me with this project. And she plays a mean banjo. <laughs> Please tell me you tracked that. <laughs> From the onset, they built this place to be kind of an over-the-top recording studio. It just screams rock and roll. They brought in this beautiful vintage Neve, and it's all hand-wired, and it's built with resistors and capacitors and different older technology. Like nowadays, you can put stuff on a computer chip. But the cool thing about something like this is that since everything was made by hand, every channel sounds a little bit different. So everything you run through it just kind of gets like a little magical curve put on it. Let me show you this new. Okay. This is what we're recording your album through. That's why Ben Smith sounds so good <laughs> and why those guitars are sounding so amazing because this is like 1973 technology. It looks like a spaceship because it pretty much is. 1973. 1973. So that's why it's so important that we're having all these people help us restore it. So people donate money and they get their name etched here on the plaque. And this is exactly where we're going to put your name. Just you like can move the star anywhere you want it to be. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Surprise. That's awesome. What do you think? That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's no words to really describe how honored I feel. Guess whose truck it is? My truck. It's my truck. <laughs> this is so exciting. We're going to go lay down some vocals, and I'm very ready for this. <laughs> At first, when I came into the studio, yes, I was nervous, um, a little shaky. Yo, really support. That's where you're pushing your diaphragm. But as you know, this experience has kind of started to develop into something that I can like see happening. I've become a lot more comfortable with everything, and it's never really become a reality until now. I figure out which was left and right. <laughs> so my nerves kind of turned into excitement and then that kind of fueled my passion. Just forget that. <laughs> that was awesome. You went for it, 100%. Do it wrong and do it str wrong, right? If you can do it twice and it's jazz, it's all good. Yay. That's a good one. I mean, I think that people are gonna be pretty blown away when they hear it. You jealous country landers better mind your mouth. Because you we're really, really working hard on it and she's got some great pipes. We're actually gonna go to Nashville and do some mixing, so it's gonna get kind of that Nashville polish at the end, so I think maybe that's also gonna help kind of the two worlds collide. <laughs> She's a super strong singer at a young age, but obviously is motivated about it. Just hear so <laughs> It's always really thrilling to hear somebody who is working on one of their first recordings, and when their talent is strong, you can breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, there's some Megs. Yeah. <laughs> They're just out of luck. My favorite word is faith. And so I think just having faith that everything's gonna work out has really humbled me and kind of brought me down to earth, I guess, and been, hey, trust the process. So I got the privilege of going down to Nashville to do the final mix with Jeff Balding. Well, damn it, Jeff, you did it again. He's worked with other artists like Faith Hill, Leanne Rhymes, even a little bit of Megadeth, some Trace Ad Kids. I really hope that from the song, It's My Truck, that they will be able to have fun. It'll be a song they can crank up in their car, roll down the windows, and they want everyone to listen to. Maybe it reminds them of their truck, or maybe they want that to be their dream truck, so they take their truck and go out and make it happen. I just want it to be a fun, energetic, upbeat song that people can just roll down the window and do a little Meg's dance to.
up guys? I am in a football stadium. This is amazing. <laughs> hey, there's Romo standing right in front of me. He has a nice butt. Now turn left.